I used to compare my likeness to that of an orange balloon. I've learned to identify with the tranquility in the darkness of night. The slumber that takes you under an overexertion of your power, power you never knew to exist within the vibration of your vocal folds, a voice that speaks to you in times of doubt, questioning the battle in which you are fighting for. Who are you? Do you recognize the God in you? Can you see the hope of the slave shining through you? Is it possible that your change was happening before you knew you? Spent so long searching to understand life, love, and the joy in that as they sit and chatter, speaking of a bug whom they were once acquainted. Never knew the cocoon you'd sprout from was woven painfully with bile consumed to bloom this beautiful winged creature with no definite destination but a determination to survive, with the tenacity to be beautiful and alive, alive. Another chance to witness sunrise grazing your pathways with fragrant lilies that once wept, for even in their beauty, they could never gracefully glide from skylines to their next destiny, disregarding your struggle to take flight for your beauty is the guise of your demise. I wish that I could mine your words etched deep into my soul to change things. I wish this voice never spoke to me through every dream. I wished one day not to acknowledge the God in me that spoke to me, about me, through me, to rearrange things. Wish I knew what it was like not to be berated, defiled by the chromosomes took to be created. Mm. Wish I knew how to forgive before being forsaken or shaken, shaken to my core for not understanding what my fight was for. For if I knew this race would be given to one who was much stronger than I, who still can't see beauty in wings that now embrace me while I slumber, nestling my head where history was once a mystery to those who walked in faith. The faith that I forgot while trying to remember a battle of id, ego, and super ego between want and need, between yours, mine, and ours, between God and divine relation, between the chosen and the righteous, between the word. As I write this, I'm trying to write this and gain some understanding of who I is I. Used to compare myself to an orange moon before I ever stood before her. Broken, battered, and bemused that she was not the reflection of my inner darkest hour. The hour she cried holy, and I rocked slowly to her soulful melody, a hymn. The vibration in my throat still cannot complete. Is our history obsolete? Is the fight essentially over? If so, why is my heart still broken, hanging over broken, broken limbs of great oak trees? Why is my spirit still shackled to her melody? Why is my left hook still as strong as my right and my rights being overlooked? Why is my greatness not being booked? Why am I still searching for answers as nightfall consumes me? I no longer wish upon stars. For they are destined to glean for an extent before they burst, taking our dreams to a grave that we all will forget. I no longer pray for world peace and harmony, for my skin will always be the reason my hair will never not be the topic of break room conversations. My body will always be their sadistic fashion fascinations, but my thoughts, they will never hold the right because I do. I do believe in a God that works through me to speak to you in everything that I do, and I do still wish to resemble that orange moon. But for now, compare me to the tranquility in the darkness of night, where that orange moon shines. Right. Yes.